Hello and welcome to this week's Granny's Garden. Now this week I'm going to be taking care of business. Hashtag TCB. Whoops! Because I got challenged. Challenged by Monica Casey from Monica Casey's Garden. So, challenge accepted. Now I have been so absorbed over the last few weeks with killing the ivy hedge, killing its root system, digging up the stumps, that my normal to-do list is getting longer and longer and longer and I make no headway whatsoever on that list. So today I'm going to take one item off the list. I'm going to take care of business. Now up until now, my garden birds and I have had an understanding. I feed them high quality bird seed. I clean the bird bath out every single day and fill it with nice cool water because it's very, very hot so the birds can cool off. I let them eat 100% all the berries of my two Mahonias or Oregon grape shrubs. I also let them eat all of the cherries on the three cherry trees I have. All of them, without complaining. But we were going to share the harvest of the fig tree and I divided the tree into upper deck and lower deck and from there downwards was going to be my harvest and from there upwards I was going to leave the birds. And for two years it worked. But there must be some new kids on the block this year who obviously didn't receive my memo because they are totally ignoring protocol. This tree behind me has two crops a year. The first one, the brevas. I harvested half of my half. And I put up an Instagram photograph. They were absolutely lovely. Two days later, I came out to harvest the other half of my half and there was nothing left. Only hollowed out husks. They had eaten everything. 100% of the upper deck and the other half of mine. I was not amused. And neither was Lily the Black Lab or Boston My Shepherd Mix because they love figs as well. Not amusing. Now here's the second crop. It's late this year because this weather has been weird this year. But as you can see, all over the tree on the top of each branch, there are lovely groupings of figs. So before the birds get any weird ideas and not follow protocol again, I'm going to be bagging them. But I'm only going to bag the bottom half because I'm not vengeful. I'm going to leave them with the upper half because, well, I like my birds. So I'm going to get my little net bag first. I'm going to squish these leaves together and then just pop it in the bag. That's the general idea anyway. Don't worry about the leaves, they're really tough. Just put it down over. See there? Over where your figs are and then just draw the string. That way you're not only avoiding birds but you're also avoiding things like wasps in the future. And that is that. There's plenty of other leaves to photosynthesize, just in case you're worried about that as well. And it's just a question of going, because the figs don't grow further back on the branch. They grow on the tips of all the branches, which makes it really easy to bag. And that way they're going to mature inside, inside the bag. There's plenty of give on this to mature. Now is a good time to act if you actually want to thin the fruit. This has got three and it's going to take it down once. So it's going to peel this one off the back, just twist it off. And that's that. I don't need to thin it to down to one because in actual fact there's many times I don't thin the fruit at all and it matures beautifully and it's lovely and sweet. So what I'm going to do is just thin out the ones that I've got maybe four to five per tip because there are some, some branches like this one here. It's got loads. You can see the back has got some as well. So too many for that branch. I will thin that out. Certainly in colder climates it might be worthwhile thinning them but that way the tree can concentrate its efforts on less quantity of fruit. But certainly where I live, in hot summers of Spain, it's not necessary. They grow, they mature, they're sweet. They could get bigger. Not necessary for me. They're big enough when they mature. I mean, look at these. These are a good month and a half away from maturity and they're already a good size. Well, I've netted about 50 and I've got per bag about three figs. So I'm going to get about 150 figs off of this, plus any extra that the birds might leave me. Ha ha. 
As you can see, the top half of the tree is completely free for them. The bottom half is for me, my family and my doggies. So now comes the pass the trowel. I think I'm going to do something different. Out there, right in through that camera, there are people who want to become content creators, who just need that extra push to take that final step. Just do it. Get out and do it. Use this as an excuse. Take it up. Do some taking care of your business in your garden, even if it's only a two minute video, and start creating. This community, the gardening community, is such a wonderful group of people. The comments are constructive. Everybody's there. If you ask a question, everybody's there to help you. It's a wonderful, healthy community. And I'm sure people want to form part of it, not only from the outside, but from the inside. So just do it. Get going. Push that record button. So the trowel is for you. Well, it was meant to go out there. <laughs> okay, guys. Enough from me, and I'll see you here again next week in Granny's Garden. Bye-bye now. And don't forget to hit the record button. And if you do, let us know. We're really looking forward to it. See ya. And guess who's having a nap just below the new hose link?